Hey everyone, and welcome back to Remember This Tech. Today's episode, I picked up a new system, a deal for only $100. What did I get? That's what we're gonna find out. Let's see if this system works. See behind me? Got this pile of parts. Now, I originally was just looking for a video card, and this is an NVIDIA 1078 gig card I've been waiting to get my hands on. And while I was looking for this, the guy had this up for 50 bucks, and I was like, that's a good deal. Does it work? He says, yeah, I just use it and, you know, editing rig, that's it. So I'm like, okay, let's do it. I thought that was a deal as long as it works, right? And then I saw another listing post from him immediately after, and I was like, hmm, I don't really need a system. Then he posted his uh, ASRock Fatality motherboard. CPU, 1700X CPU, it's eight core, 16 thread, but it's one of the first Ryzen chips, so it's, I can't really say what the performance is gonna be, but that's what we're gonna test today and see if it's still viable in 2024. The fact that this board has two M2 slots here and it has three PCI Express slots, four memory slots, eight, 10, no, 10 SATA ports on this bad boy. Came with the CPU, backplate, board, it came with 16 gig of Rip Jaws, 3200 megahertz DDR4 RAM. And then he was like, hey, I've got the cooler for it too. It's pretty thick for an AMD cooler. It's a lot thicker than the normal ones, I think. They must have run hotter back then, but. And then he was like, and, and you know, since you're buying both, um, yeah, um, I was wondering if you had any interest in this. And I was like, okay, what's the catch? Oh. I just upgraded my whole system. I don't want it anymore. Okay, so it's a EVGA 1000 GQ fully modular power supply. Obviously, there's got to be something wrong, right? And this particular one here looks like it's pushed out of. I just pushed it in, in fact. It moved, so maybe there's something goofed up in the system. And yeah, so he's like, take it. So I'm like, if it works for free, that whole deal. And then he was like, yeah, I got a backplate for it here. And here's a, here's a TV DVI uh, capture, HDMI capture card if you want it. And I'm like, yeah. Basically a whole s s system setup. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna build this system. We're gonna install Windows. We're gonna see if it works, what doesn't work, and how it performs with this Ryzen 1700X system and the 1070 video card in 2024. Is it still a viable solution? Can it still play games and do normal tasks? Or should would you be better off getting a faster, newer system? So without further ado, let's see if anything I bought works or did I get ripped off? Come on, let's go. So in the case of this setup, you know, we're just gonna go with what we were given. And that includes using the stock AMD heatsink because the thing looks pretty beefy and I don't see what, any reason why it wouldn't be fine. The Ryzen 1700X probably is a little long in the tooth for 2024. And, but the good thing is, is that this board supports Ryzen 5 series CPUs and you can put in a much more modern, uh, more efficient CPU in here if you so desired or 12 core system. It's got some beefy cooling on the back here, so. And it's got cool reset functions on the board itself. Reset, power, so you don't have to jump or anything um, if you don't have hookups. Yeah, look at it's triggering, it's tripping itself. This system's Fubard. And that's why you test the power supplies prior to putting them in your system. Do they hook this up to the board? It would have tripped, who knows. When in doubt, break out my good brand new Sago Tep GM 750 watt modular. Yeah, let's hook it up. Even a cheap power supply tester like this is invaluable. I haven't recommended enough. I'll throw it down in the description uh, section below.
Not as bad as it could have. Time to press ahead. Another eye, same as in the goblin camp. Someone's watching from afar. find that yacht before the Empire does. Is it safe up here? You're gonna disobey a direct command? <laughs> we gotta find that yacht before the Empire does. Is it safe up here? You're gonna disobey a direct command? Got held up. And you weren't exactly easy to find. Yep. Well, my final thoughts. This Ryzen 1700X 8-core 16-thread CPU still has a lot of life left in it. 
and the 1070 proved that it still does too. Now I got this system complete where for only a hundred bucks and that includes the RAM, the motherboard, the CPU, the cooler, and the 1070. Now I had a power supply that came with it, but it was bad, so I had to use my own. Considering that it only cost a hundred bucks for all that, I think that that was a steal, don't you? With the BIOS update, this motherboard can support Ryzen 5000 series CPUs, which can extend the longevity of this motherboard, give you more efficient and powerful CPU if you so desire. So I might just do that in the future. The negatives that I could see would be that there's no video out on the motherboard, it would limit you know, your integrated GPU for your Ryzen series CPUs in case you want a 5600G or something like that, you'd have to use the dedicated card. And if you were going to use this for a server board, since it has 10 SATA ports, you'd have to use a dedicated GPU, thereby increasing your power uh, consumption. So that's a downfall. But for the money, this deal was a no brainer for me. And I got a 1070, which I've been waiting for for a long time to get a price like this. So thanks for coming along on this journey and testing this setup. And thanks for watching. Remember this tech.